Check, check. There we go. I think we got audio. Can you guys hear me? It probably sounds way different though, because I don't have all of the filters on. I could try to copy them. Sorry guys. Uh, let me figure out what is up with the microphone momentarily and we will get them started. Uh, let's see. Filters. Let's copy you. Awesome. Thanks, Charles. Yeah. Whatever reason, the microphone did not come through. So I am just copying our filters. I'm almost done. As our jam signs off. Uh, let's see. I think we need one more filter. Noise gate. Uh, filter and paste you. OBS having a mind of its own with the microphone today, I guess. All right. Cool. Let's just run it back, shall we? All right. Cool. Sorry about that, guys. Welcome. Happy Thursday. Yes, it is Thursday. We are back live here in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. As always, it's Javi checking in. Hope everybody's week is going well. It's almost the weekend. We are live. Yes. We got leg two today of our three legs this week. Uh, we are live on the ramp here in Bozeman, uh, Montana. On the ramp here at Yellowstone International, where we left off on Tuesday, um, back in the beautiful PMDG 737-700, BBJ, Boeing business jet variant, rocking a new livery today, white and blue, nice uh, shiny new livery uh, that we'll go over at cruise. Um, some of us got Sim Update 11 today. Uh, us in the United States don't get it until tomorrow. So, exciting stuff. We will go over Sim Update 11 when you can get up to cruise today. All the new exciting stuff we can expect uh, tomorrow. Uh, at least us folks in the United States. I know other countries already got uh, Sim Update 11. So, super exciting stuff. So, we'll cover all that good stuff at cruise today. Um, so, yeah, we are back here at Yellowstone International airport uh, we'll be flying up to Boeing Field uh, Seattle Washington today that is the plan we got hour 32 minutes in the air 17 passengers 1600 pounds of cargo and luggage so that is the plan for today we got some nice snowy weather here in Bozeman uh, so it should be a cloudy low visibility departure um, but I don't know if there's any other weather in the Seattle area. We'll find that out when we get up to cruise today too. We can check the weather on our way. But uh, yeah, super excited to be back in the bird flying with you guys. Uh, so excited to do some flying today. Uh, thank you all for tuning in and hanging out with us today. Appreciate each and every one of you for stopping by, hanging out with us as always. Uh, happy to have you for today's stream and chat. Um, and if you're new to the channel or watching live, please say hello in chat. Howdy, howdy, Mr. Charles Johnson. Good to see you. Good to see you. Thanks for hopping in the stream and chat, my friend. Hope you're well. Um, yeah, if you guys enjoyed today's stream and want to show your support to the channel, as always, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. Uh, we greatly appreciate that. And it is a huge help uh, to the channel and all that good stuff. It's much, much appreciated. And I do live stream weekly and exclusively here on Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays. So if you guys hit the notification bell, uh, you will not miss any new uploads or streams. Uh, you'll get all the notifications. So without further ado, 
and the mic being weird with OBS. Uh, we are good to go. Let's jump in the bird. Let's get it fired up. This thing's probably an ice box. Or not yet, anyways. Doesn't look like we're getting any ice. Let's get the, where's the battery? Battery's up top. Let's get the battery going. And let's get our aft one fuel pump on and kick on, start up the APU. Listen to her fire up. Get a good look at our new livery. Good stuff. Cool. APU sounds good to go. Let's jump back in here. We'll get the APU gins on. Gen 1, Gen 2. Let there be light and air. APU bleed on now before I forget. And just filed our flight plan on V Pilot. We will be on the VATSIM uh, network today. Um, doesn't look like anybody's on ATC where we are at right now. Uh, so we'll be, let's see, we'll be squawking 2000 and on Unicom 122.8. Good deal. Um, let's go back up top. We can get, uh, the packs going. Left and right packs on auto. Guess we can set the, since it's cold out here, we'll set the temperature to warm. Crank it up so we don't freeze. Let's get the both hydrog pumps on. Logo blue well lights both on. Uh, emergency exit lights are here. Get the chime on, seat belts can go auto, and our attend button, just because I love that button. And let's set our IRS's left and right to nav. Good to go. Now uh, we'll get you. Oh, that turned itself off. Beautiful. And let's check our throttles. One, two, and some oxygen. Beautiful. What is the temperature? Minus 11. Yeah, it's freezing out here. I think it was minus 12 or 13 when we flew in here on Tuesday. Set our altimeter. Just hit B. And she is set to 3022. Uh, what else we got? Let's call up the ground crew, shall we? Let's go FS Action Ground Services. Next page, maintenance, potable water, Fuel guy, we're gonna need thirteen thousand one hundred pounds today. Yeah, I'm surprised OBS the microphone settings just changed for whatever reason uh, today and not on Tuesday, our first stream back. So that was interesting. I figured. Something would have happened on Tuesday versus today. We'll zoom our view back. The crew rolling up. Cool. <clears throat> so, yeah, that was weird. OBS tends to have a mind of its own. That is for sure, but glad we got it all figured out and didn't take too much of time. So we probably don't need to call for clearance today. 
while the fuel guy is getting set up, let's get some stuff up here going. FPV on traffic is on, data button is on, right side, center button twice, and traffic button one time. And what else we got? Let's get our route going here. He's actually ready to fuel. So we'll start fueling before I forget that. Uh, let's get our position. So we'll go FMC position. We are at KBZN. That's our airport. We'll go next page. Copy our left GPS and paste. Now we'll go route. Copy the origin. We're going to KBFI Boeing Field. First time flying into Boeing Field too, so looking forward to seeing this or that airport. Uh, we do have a freeware for both uh, Yellowstone, where we're taking off today, and landing at Boeing Field. So we'll cover all that good stuff at cruise. So we've got our route in here. Whoops, that's not what I wanted. We need our charts. So we've got Navigraph here inside of. Sim Toolkit Pro, and looks like we're probably the only bird here. Um, so, cool. Let's see. Let's get our ATIS. Winds are, I guess, calm. Let me double check that on my laptop. Just to be double sure. KBZN. Winds are zero four zero three. So zero four zero, so we'll do runway thirty. Let's go to part arriving button. Parting runway thirty via let's see. The Terex four SID and then we're going HIA transition arriving. Let's see what our winds are, probably from the south, variable at three. Let's double check that one more time. Okay, BFI, and I usually just use windy, windy.com to double check uh, real world, um, what is it, weather and the winds and all that stuff. So we'll plan, I mean, Seattle, SeaTac Airport, the winds are always from the south, so they're variable, so we'll go runway 14, ILS 14, and we got, what do we got? Arrival is the Glazer 1, and MLP is the Transish. Uh, let's actually, oh, come on. Come on, camera. Uh, let's go change this to ILS. Let's see what the CEA transition looks like. So zoom her in. That's already added to the route. Okay, so that's the VOR. So now we'll just take that out. Whoops, didn't want to do that. Arrival. ILS 14 right via Glazer 1, MLP, and we'll just leave out the transition probably for now. And if we get vectors, we'll throw it in there later, but should be good for now. Let's get our SID up here. Should be a pretty easy SID. And we'll reference that here in a minute. We're actually doing runway 30, so that's going to flip us around, yep, cool, brownies, hey, what is going on, good to see you brownies, happy Thursday, Friday Eve, hope you are well, it's almost Friday, got some good stuff to cover, some updates and stuff when we get up to cruise today, so, yeah, good to see you, thanks for hopping in the stream of chat, all right, so we got that all good, let's go route, and we'll go next page, and then we'll do 
add in our fixes here. Tuffy T U F F Y is going to go after H I A. And then we got MLP, so we'll just move MLP up. Activate, execute, legs page. Let's check our route. And, oops, let's do this. We'll go FMC on the right, first officer side, and progress page. That will do. And let's go plan page. Let's me out a little bit. And here's our departure, our SID. Looks like we need to be above 8,000, and yeah, pretty easy. We'll throw in the Whitehall uh, VOR, why not? 113.7. 113.7, we'll put on both sides, oops, 13.7. Two beans, let's go back over here and continue our step through all this looks good heading northwest all the way and then back down uh, to Seattle yeah we'll leave the we'll leave the vector in there for now but everything else looks good there's the approach and zoom it in yep there's our ILS 14 cool beans we'll hit legs page to reset it Go back to map and zoom everything back in. Cool. Everything should be good there. Let's go in at ref page. Cost index today is 2 niner. Reserves 4.4. Zero fuel weight 101.5. Right? Yes, 101.5. And we'll cruise at 38,000 feet today. Execute that in one limit. Uh, do we want to derate today? Forget how long the runway is. Nine thousand feet. Uh, nah. We'll leave it at twenty-seven k for today. And it is pretty snowy and cold here, so we'll use all the power we can get. How about that? Cool. Uh, CG. That'll populate twenty-three nine. V speeds all in and good to go. Trim 4.53. Oh, come on. Let's see if I can move this camera. Uh, about four and a half. That looks good. Trim set. Let's go back down here. We'll set our cruise speed today. Mach 0.81. So we can cruise at lightning speed. We'll descend at 300 knots and we'll hit 250 knots below 10,000 feet. Cool. Uh, what else we got? Uh, let's see. Let's go back up top. Looks like he's done fueling, actually. So let's go menu, FS action, ground services. Potable water guy is probably done, too. We'll release both of them. Thank you for your services. Shout out to the ground team. Hi. Right. Back in the bird here. Let's go up top. Let's get the window heat and yaw damper on. With the rest of the fuel pumps on as well. Don't need the center tanks today. We don't need that much gas. Let's go back down here. Set our RTO. That is set and reset the fuel flow. Cool. And our speed out of here was 127. Set that. And heading. Runway headings 303. Let's just turn you all the way around. 303. And there we go. And just have a bottom or a above altitude that I'm sure we will hit. So just set our cruise for now since there's no ATC on at the moment in our area. 
All right, and then we need to set up top. So we'll go pressurization panel, put in our cruise 380, and then our landing elevation looks like 18. So we'll just leave that bad boy at zero. Cool. Reset our camera here. It's so lightning fast. Uh, what else we got? Passengers, where you at? Let's get them on board. Why not? Menu, FS action ground services previous page we'll call them up there they come cute so we'll load up the packs and then we will be on our way We got 17 passengers today. Let's jump back in here. 17, we'll throw them in there. Start boarding the passengers. And we got 1,600 pounds of cargo, so we'll just do 800 in the front, 800 in the back, which typically PBJ cargo is pretty much their luggage and it just goes in the bird not in the cargo holds but for weight and balance purposes we shall do it this way all right we are getting everything loaded go ahead and let the our maintenance homie go appreciate you sir Get our camera set up here. Cool. <clears throat> Let's see. Keep an eye on. Looks like the passengers are on board, and the luggage is ready. That was quick. Cool. All right, so we'll release the SUVs and we can get rid of the chocks too. And let's do some flying. Let's set up our startup cam here. So let's go return doors, retract the air stairs, close. Z door. I think I hit it. Yeah, there we go. Cool. <clears throat> and we're not picking up any ice yet, so it doesn't look like the temperature is freezing, although it's minus 11. Um, but we all know how the cold weather in Microsoft. is interesting to say the least or at least the simulation part of it all right let's go beacon anti-collision on packs gotta go off for engine start both left and right set the right igniter and set number two to ground and start she is spooling in twos, rolling. Oh, pressure's alive. In one, slowly rolling. Make sure the fuel at 25. Boom. Listen to her startup.
number two is good. Start number one at point in one hits twenty. Boom. There we go. Same deal. Number two starting. Or number one. There she goes. And two rolling. Roll pressure. Alive in one slowly rolling. There's twenty five, one in two. So do start up. Good engines, two good starts. We'll go up top here in a second. There's N1, hit 20. We'll go gins on, gin 1, gin 2, APU off. Start switches both set to continuous for takeoff. Probe heats up top, both on. Left and right packs both set to auto. ISO valve auto, APU bleed can go off and we'll go up top get our gen 1 battery we'll go down here and set our flaps to 5 for takeoff engine system buttons on quick flight control check up down lefty righty and for right rudder for left rudder B E A Beautiful. And let's go TARA for the traffic. 122.8 uh, on Unicom for VAT Sim. Let's get our departure chart up here. Yeah, so. <clears throat> easy departure. Heading 303, left turn to Rancer. And then we are on our way to the Whitehall VOR. Good to go. Taxi, easy taxi, alpha, alpha, one, two, three, zero. Looks like we got a cross. Is that two, nine? Yes. No. Two, one. Cool. All right, what else? Uh, I was going to check the traffic in the area because I think there, yes, there is an arrival. So we might have to wait for him. He's at 13,000 feet. Uh, I don't know which way he's coming in, but we'll see. Cool. All right, let's reset the altimeter. It's now 3023. Flight directors both on, auto throttle arms. We'll get the terrain radar on for departure. Got some hills in the area. Let's arm VNAV and LNAV. Beautiful. Taxi lights going on. Parking brake coming off. All right, let's reset that camera for later. Cool. All right, let's spool them up. Make sure we can roll here. Cool. Let's do it. Uh, Yellowstone traffic, number five, Jet Alpha, uh, taxi to. 3 0 via Alpha Alpha 1 Yellowstone Trap. Is there an exit here? Or it's just open. We're in a holding pattern over Australia on the Isla approach. Australia and Shigaila approach over 20. So he's shooting for one, two. So we might, yeah, we might have to wait for him because that's the 
runway in front of us, or the same runway, pretty much. <clears throat> Lots of snow. Let it snow, let it snow. Finally see the mountains over there now. All right, so this is Alpha. Let's take this all the way down. Cross two one, or I guess three. Runway three. Cool. So yeah, hour and a half air time to Boeing Field. It's actually where the traffic's coming from. It's coming from Seattle. So. Kind of flip-flopping routes here. Cool. So yeah, Sim Update 11. I know it came out today in some countries, I believe. I could be wrong, but I know in the United States, uh, Sim Update 11 will be released tomorrow, November 11th. Let's get all lights on for across the runway. So yeah, we'll go over Sim Update 11 highlights when we get up to cruise today. A lot of new exciting stuff. Sim Update 11, I totally forgot it was being released this week until yesterday. Alright, so he, the traffic is in holding pattern. So let's see where he's at. Yeah, he's in a hold. Looks like he's going away from us, so we might be able to just take off. We'll see. Because we're making a left turn anyways. So let's hold short here. Oops, there we go. Um, let's see. Yeah, I mean, we're making a sharp left turn, so... He's at about 4,000 feet. This isn't very accurate. Um, let's see. Yeah, I still got the lights on. Forgot to turn them off. Strobes and landing lights. Um, we'll give him a second here. How far out is he? I mean, he's more than 20 miles out, so. Right? It's 40 miles. Reset you. Or he's about 18 miles out, it looks like. Why can't I see him on here, then? Oh, it's because it cuts off. Yeah, he's at about almost 15 now. <clears throat> don't see him yet. Uh, let's see. Let's call him up. Uh, Alaska 456, November 5, you're off and we're holding short runway 30. You're still in the hold? Uh, no, we just intercepted the localizer. We're going to be landing. 1-2. We're about 14 miles out. Roger, we'll hold short and uh, wait for you to. Wait for you to land. Five to go. 
Thank you so much. Yep. Cool. All right. I think I got the. Let's hit the parking brake so I don't have to hold it. All right. So we'll let him uh, land and we'll get out of here. Yeah, I mean, we, uh, I probably should have just, we could have just rolled up and took off because it's such a sharp left turn. We would have been way out of his way, but all good. Let's see if we can see him. We got plenty of gas, so let's use the drone cam, why don't we? So it's not so loud. Winter Wonderland. Still can't see him. Yeah, so I know the 310, the Airbus 310, uh, is going to be part of the Sim Update 11 that comes free. So we might have to do some A310 ops here. I've never flown it, so I might have to mess around with it this morning. Or this, yeah, this weekend I might have to try to give it a whirl. See if I can find some tutorials on the good old YouTube. It's been a while since I've flown Airbus, so definitely going to need a refresher. Oh, yeah, Charles, it is freezing. Minus 11 Celsius. It is cold. Still can't see his lights. Clouds are moving though. You can kind of start to see the mountains in the back yeah it is I believe it's still which number is the yep still minus 11 outside three miles there we go now we can kind of see them go back outside and I need to not forget to put on the anti-ice for departures since we got freezing cold oh Charles that's right I totally forgot the A310 does have a yoke it's not the side stick totally forgot that I have to dust my uh, TCA side stick off eventually when we get back in the Airbus with the side stick. But yeah, I totally forgot it does have the uh, the yoke. There you go. Kind of see him. There he is. Oh, he's coming in. Yeah, I was looking at the TCA Boeing yoke online the other day. Uh, B and H Photo has it at a good price, thirty-one. It's the best price I've seen online yet. 
so I might have to pick that up soon. Maybe even find a Black Friday deal. Alright, so traffic is landed, so we will take off here as soon as he vacates the runway. Cool. Awesome. All right, so let's do this, guys. Boom, we are back in here. Let's. Looks like the scenery's trying to. Hasn't reloaded fully yet. Come on. Because I'd hate for the runway to not load in. All right, whatever. It's all good. All right, let's get the heats on. Well, anti ice. All the anti-ice on, we'll get the landing lights, strobes, all the lights are on. Yellowstone traffic, number 5 to off, uh, lining up, taking off from a re-zero. Uh, to the east, to the west, Yellowstone traffic. <clears throat> cool, so that was our only traffic out here. He's going to the terminal, it looks like. All right. Lights are all good. Let's start the clock. Let's get on the center line. There she is. Spool him up to 40. We're rolling. There's 40. Let's go, Toga. Power is set. We're off. Let's go to Seattle. Your speed alive. Check. Enox. Double check. Let's go neutral. Z1. Right, let's go rotate. Nice and easy. Positive rate of climb. Let's go gear up. Double tap on the brakes. And there's the clouds. Let's watch our nose. Beautiful. Whoops, that was the wrong view. Let's watch our nose here. Start our left turn. Nice and easy. There's climb power, let's go flaps one. And Yellowstone traffic over five to get out. Climb through 8,000 for 380. Last call, Yellowstone. Cool. Left turn, straighten her out. Get the nose down. Pick up some speed here. Let's go flaps up and clean. And we'll go command A. Doesn't look like we can see the airport. It's actually off to our left. Extra cloudy today. Nose is coming down, picking up speed, yeah. All right, direct Rancer, right? Come on, departure chart, what are you doing? Oh, don't tell me to stop working. It does this. Something wrong, yeah. All right, yeah, usually when that happens uh, it does not work again 
I don't know a fix. I don't know a quick fix for it, so I'll have to get the regular uh, Navigraph app here in a second. All right, app takeoff checklist. Let's go gear lever off. Look at that breakout noise. And we'll go RTO off. And we'll reset altimeter to standard. And what else we got? Lights, uh, landing lights, taxi lights off. And there's a nice little breakout here. We're gonna keep the, see the heats are still on. Wing anti-ice clicks off sometimes. Nice, look at that. Sweet. Charles started doing uh, exploring Canada, doing some real world, real routes by Flair Airlines. Nice, Charles. Yeah, I, um, I had a blast flying in uh, Canada. A lot of good, there's like five uh, updated airports. Lots of good airports, regions supply in Canada oh yeah good stuff I wouldn't be opposed to doing some more Canada ops here in the coming months now that it's pretty much winter almost doing some cold cold weather ops why not looks like we're kind of out of the mountains on our way Boeing Field Seattle on our way let's go Let's jump back up front real quick. Get the terrain radar off. We are 20,000 feet. And climbing. Get our range out here a little bit. Okay. Any place uh, particular that you've been recently, Charles? Um, flying the Canada Ops. Oh yeah, definitely agree. Love, love Seattle. Seattle is definitely a very scenic place to fly in and out of, or fly VFR for that. Absolutely. Uh, let's get rid of my scratch pad here. Pull up some iTunes action. Get up to cruise. Cool. <clears throat> Sweet. Actually, let's do the Bow. That was a long stutter. Scary stutter. Some panoramic views. Yeah, it doesn't look like we have any ATC signed on right now in this region. There's a couple birds in the Seattle area. Cool. We are heading northwest. Yeah, for whatever reason, 
this stops working sometimes. Yeah, and it just won't load any anything, unfortunately. So we will have to use the good old Wait, where's my Navigraph app? Navigraph, where are you? <coughs> oh, geez, I gotta do all this. I gotta re sign in. Probably needs an update or something that I probably haven't done. Close this window. Whoa. Oh, yeah, they just did do an update. Navigraph 8 or something like that. Let's load this in. It all looks... Whoa, it's so different. Hide. Um... Oh, I'll have to mess around with this. I don't even know. No. VFR. Oh, that's cool. Low VFR. Let's do VFR. Nice. Follow mode. Cool. Looks completely different now. Oh no, this isn't our flight plan. That was from That was from uh Tuesday's flight. Let's see. How do I What's this? Flights. Uh unload. Where is What's this? Uh, pin. How do I load the new flight? Uh, sync with current flights. No. Unload. Oh, yeah, new flight. And then, how do you. Where's. Import flight from Simbrief. There it is. Got it. Import and open. Fair enough. Um, cool. So we'll hide you. Wow, this looks so cool. Love it. Awesome. It's got the headings and everything in there. Arrival. Wow, Navgraph. Stepping it up. So fancy. I dig it. Did Ottawa to Winnipeg, Toronto to Vancouver. Going to fly to have it through next. Nice, Charles. Sweet. Yeah, Ottawa was pretty cool. I think we... Did we do Ottawa? Or I might have flown that off stream. No, we did... Uh, we did Quebec City. Quebec City was pretty nice. Nice uh, cityscape. Quebec City is a very, very nice city. Cool. Where are we at? We are... Let's go front. We're at 34,000. Get, get some jams going. Why not? And I will start pulling up. Let's sit back here. Let's sit in the jump seat. Why not? I always forget about the good old jump seat. Uh, we're out of the clouds now. Let's go... Anti-ice, start switches off, and should be all groovy. 
it up a little higher so we can see the some mountains in here. Yeah, but the uh, World Update 11 for Canada, it's got some good, good cities, good updates, good airports, good POIs, points of interest, definitely some good stuff. Um, so yeah, speaking of World Update 11, Sim Update 11, oh, I knew that was going to do that. Uh, let's go. Let's sit in the left wing, wide angle, wide angle lens view here, and what was the website I found it on? I mean, FS Elite probably got it. Yes. Yeah, so it's on a bunch of websites, but I'm just using uh, fselite.net. So 40th anniversary update. Also, sim update 11. These are the release times. So looks like here on this little chart, got a nice little breakdown, zoom you in. Oh no, so, oh, I thought, I thought we got it a day later than the other countries outside of the US. No, we get it on the first day, so tomorrow, 8 a.m. Pacific, Sim update 11 will be released. Beautiful. New York, that would be 11 a.m. Eastern Time. Sao Paulo, 1 p.m. London, 4 p.m. Amsterdam, 5 p.m. Cape Town, 6 p.m. And then on, what would that be, Saturday, November 12th. So these are November 11th. And then November 12th is going to be Singapore, Tokyo, Sydney, Wellington. Singapore 12 a.m. Tokyo 1 a.m. Sydney 3 a.m. So got to stay up late or get up early. Wellington 5 a.m. So that looks like the release schedule. Hopefully, at least I haven't heard anyways, any delays would be nice. There's all goes well. And this update and 40th anniversary edition three. Um, what else? Any other? This just goes over the times again. Huge free update for everyone who owns the sim. 40th an anniversary will bring brand new airports, aircraft, missions, improvements, and more. As a way to say thank you. Cool. Um, let's see what else. Yep, just goes live per your region. But the update release starts tomorrow, 8 a.m. Pacific, pretty much. Yes, 100%, Charles. Lots of good stuff all free now I wonder if let me see if I can find more of a list of everything included some updates 11 So I wonder if that means we'll get a PMDG update tomorrow. I don't know. I guess we will see. 
an update, 11. Let me see, I'm looking for... Well, there's a lot of stuff on here. <clears throat> Lots of stuff. Uh, let's see, sim update 11 beta release notes. So I don't know how accurate this is, so it's expander. <sighs> Play on PC, some packages in your community folder may not have been updated, and the result may not or may have an impact on the title's performance. Okay. New features, live traffic has been updated, various quality of life fixes, new memory fragmentation system. DX12, I don't use that, so what else? Do, 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 do. Um kinda wanna start with the well, it's like some more weather updates, activity updates, planes. I wanted to see the planes. What was that? general fixes to a bunch of different planes or code ground effect G1000 updates AQB20 Neo fixed behavior of landing and taxi light key binds 747 update glare shield dome floodlight brightness knobs are now functional uh, well, it doesn't have like the A310 in there, unless I missed it. Let's do no. I mean, control find nothing. Let's see, error, Airbus. I think that's just the Neo. Huh. Alright, so this is just the update fixes. This doesn't include all of the birds that are new additions, so we might have to just wait to go over these. Because uh, they always put out the actual release notes, so maybe we go over that in Sunday's stream. Um, let's see. Historical aircraft. Well, this one, this one says, what is all this junk on the sides? Uh, historical aircraft, the Wright Flyer, Spirit of St. Louis, Douglas DC-3, DHC-2, Beaver, got two helicopters, a new glider, wonder if they mentioned the helicopters, gliders, a new study level Airbus A310, several fam fam favorite planes from previous editions of Microsoft, classic airports, missions, and more, all coming as part of the free update of number 11. Cool. So yeah, bug fixes, other improvements, good stuff. So yeah, probably next week we'll fly. Uh, if I can get the, you know, release notes with all the airports and all that good stuff this weekend, uh, we will definitely fly some of those new airports and maybe stumble our way through flying the old A310. Let's 
sit in the back here for a minute. Um, yeah, let's also go over our scenery and uh, uh, livery we're flying today. So KBZN. So we are on flightsim.to where we got them. KBZN. Courtesy of DWP Studios. This is where we took off today. So Bozeman Yellowstone International Airport in Montana. Montana. Located in the Rocky Mountains. Thought the mountains would be a little rockier than this. Good old Dumb and Dumber. So yeah, shout out to DWP Studios for this uh, freeware on flightsim.to did an awesome job with the terminal and markings taxiways parking spots runways all look pretty sweet terminal looks good I think that's from the front of the terminal got some on-ramp views here got the fence Although I think the fence stops out here. I think I noticed that on Tuesday. All good though. Corrected Pappy lights, jetways, updated aprons, taxiways, all that good stuff. So shout out to DWP Studios. And then we got KBFI, where we are on our way to, courtesy of Freaky D. I know Freaky D has a ton of freeware sceneries on flightsim.to. He does some amazing work as well. So shout out to him. So yeah, Bowling Field, Seattle, Washington in the United States. I know that Bowling Field does, I think they do uh, like tours and all that good stuff. This is where all the baby Boeings are birthed. So we got the one long runway and then small GA runway. Looks like this is part of the museum, I think. Yep, Flight Museum, there you go. Boeing Airplane Co. It's a Boeing, big Boeing maintenance hangar back there. Another Boeing building right here. All the Boeings getting worked on. Did a sweet, sweet job. Hey, Lobby have what's going on, my friend? Thanks for hopping in the stream and chat. Good to see you. Good to see you. Thanks for joining and flying with us today. Hope you are well. Happy Friday Eve. Good to see you. There's the uh, tower. Taxiways look awesome. Details on the building. Sweet. Looks like a UPS freighter back here and we're back at the top so yeah some nice detail on Boeing Field in Seattle it's got the museum all that good stuff tons of detail this was updated four months ago I think that's what it said yeah in June it says sim update 10 compatible so if you guys want to check this out, it is on uh, flightsim.to. And let's see, the BBJ signature pack is part of the, or is one of the liveries we're rocking today, courtesy of Project Zero. Pretty cool uh, livery. We're flying this one, the white and blue but it does come with four four different colors gray and orange black and gold gold and black gold and black ones pretty sweet if i do say so myself um and these all come in one ptp file so you upload that to the pmdg operations is that what it's called no, what's it called? 
totally forgot. Uh, yeah, PMDG op center. As you would normally do with the PTP files, and it'll it's one file for all four, so you get all four. Easy to install, and I believe he has another set of colors as well. If you guys just go to his page and then click on his icon here, it'll take you to his page, and then go to uploaded files, view more, and you'll see his other liveries and whatnot. So yeah, speaking of liveries, let's hop outside, take a peek at it. Let's jump back up front real quick. Looks like we're cruising Mach 0.81. So we are moving and grooving. Let's go outside. Oh yeah, and this one has the, on the winglet, it says 700. You can see it on the bottom, split scimitar. The 700 variant there. Not too shabby. So yeah, it'll be a fun one tomorrow. I'm sure there'll be a lot of uh, awesome sim update 11 streams on YouTube and throughout the community. So I'll be checking those out this weekend and reporting back to find anything that I might have missed. Any new details, I will of course let you guys know. So yeah, and if you guys are enjoying today's stream and video, I uh, want to show your support to the channel. Please hit the like and subscribe buttons. Would greatly, greatly appreciate it. And it is a huge help to the channel. Always enjoy sharing my flight sim experience with you guys, having you guys fly with us makes it all the more fun and yeah we got some great uh, streams trips coming up obviously sim update 11 is dropping tomorrow so next week we will fly as much sim update 11 sceneries airports all that good stuff as much as possible so that'll probably be be on the agenda for next week um, so yeah and I do live stream weekly and exclusively here on Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 uh, so if you guys do hit the notification bell uh, you will not miss any uploads you will be notified uh, all our new uploads, live streams, all that good stuff uh, and our weekly stream schedule is Tuesdays, Thursdays and Sundays uh, so always looking forward to you guys joining us, stopping in, saying hello. Oh yeah, whoops, let's go to the back for a little bit. <clears throat> we got about 180 miles until we start our descent into Boeing Field. 
Where are we at now? We are turning to the west now. Is that GEG for Spokane? It sure is. Go over Spokane, Washington. As we continue west. Whoops. No. And then into our arrival. Why does that not sh Where's the chart? That's it. There it is. Cool. And then parking. Let's see. I mean, there's a bunch of different GA ramps. There's one up here. It's like there's two down here, one here, one here. Let's see what the... Oh, there's the sun. Top right corner. Let's see. K B F I F E O. Images. Modern aviation. Maybe we'll park there. Looks like Google is showing modern aviation, leading edge, jet center. This looks like modern aviation. Yep. So maybe modern. We're playing on that, which is on the east side, kind of middle of the runway. Let's see. Which it's saying it's like over here, somewhere here, probably off of Alpha 8 or 7. So we'll plan to park somewhere over here. 10,000 foot runway. We might be able to get off on by Alpha 4, but probably shoot for Alpha 7. Should be able to park taxi right straight in. Right into the ramp. Cool. Any traffic or ATC on in the area? Nope. Looks like there's one bird. Oh, he's going to Vancouver. Anybody else going to Seattle? Seattle area? I think it's just us for now. Cool. Cool beans. It's a little bit quieter up here. Oh yeah, and I did pull the live time back about an hour, it was it an hour or two hours, I think, two hours, just so it wasn't so pitch black there when we got there, but still flying on live weather, just pulled the time back a little bit, you can see the sun's kind of already trying to, looks like it's starting to go down. Yeah, so schedule this week is as usual. Uh, Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday. So Tuesday, two days ago, we flew, started in Aspen, Colorado. And flew up to Bozeman Yellowstone International. We took off today. And then today we are going Bozeman Yellowstone International and in Montana up to Seattle, Washington, Boeing Field. And then Sunday we'll be going to uh, from Boeing Field, flying down to San Jose, uh, California for the that sim event on Sunday. We'll probably arrive San Jose earlier than the event, but 
we'll see. So if you guys want to fly with us on Sunday for the Vatsim event, let me pull it up. It actually starts at 5 p.m. Pacific, which we'll probably get there right around that time because we're going to take off. Or the stream starts at 3 p.m. So we'll probably take off around 3.30 depending on the traffic in the area. So probably around 3.30. So we'll probably get down there yeah, maybe 5, 5.30, just after the event starts. What's today? Today's the 10th, so this has got to be the... What is it? The 13th? Yeah. So this is the event on Sunday. Toga Party Tree. Turn of the Toga. So Fields, KSJC, so that's San Jose International, in California, Bay Area, and then also KPAO, KPAO, it's also another featured airport, uh, and so it's, let's see, date and time, Sunday, November 13th, 2022, 5 to 9 p.m. PST, Pacific Standard Time. Or, let's see, Zulu time is November 14th, between 100 and 500 Zulu. So if you guys want to join us on Sunday, we'll be flying from KBFI, where we are landing today, and arriving in KSJC, which is this airport in the picture, uh, San Jose international and there is a freeware for san jose international on flight i think it's i think it's the only one the only freeware uh on flight sim.to so we'll also be flying that freeware for that airport on sunday let's see i forget how long how long that flight is. Let's see. Sim brief. Whoops. So Sunday we'll be flying KBFI to KSJC, San Jose. International, 666 miles, nautical miles. Uh, so it's kind of a straight shot like we'll take off to the water and then straight south over Portland all the way down right over San Francisco should, so it should be a pretty nice approach given it's uh, weather's clear so we'll be able to see all of the San Francisco Bay Oakland area into the San Jose Approach. So that is the plan for Sunday. So yeah, stream will be 3 p.m. Pacific. We'll start. We'll probably take off around 3.30. And we'll probably land probably around 5.30, I would think. Depending on the traffic. How busy the... Um, event is could get interesting uh, on the arrival so yeah hope to see you guys there fly with us either way fly with us via the stream or fly with us during the event or both whichever is a-okay with me <laughs> Let's see, we got 115 miles to the top of drop. I uh, could use a quick lab break, a uh, quick restroom break. So why don't I do that real quick and then we will come back and... Whoops. 
start planning our approach into Boeing Field. Sounds like a plan. Alright, quick restroom break and I will be right back, guys. Get a little nose cam going here. Alright, be right back. All right, I am back. Sorry about that, guys. Water is flowing through me. All right, 90 miles out, looks like. Let me move my chair up. Bum, 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 bum. All right, whoops, wrong button. Yeah, so 88 miles out. We'll get the legs page on this side. Let's double check out Constrainies. So it looks like just Jackson, which is this here. Bum, 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 bum. All right, so we are landing Boeing Field. So 250 at 11,000, looks good. Next is Woody. Landing north, no, we're landing south, so. Heather, don't need that constraint either since we are landing south and then we got our vector and two our where's our ILS chart uh, what's this button we go back over here um, that's our alternate 
here it is. Uh, approach, we're doing the ILS one to our right. Let's, there we go. And then uh, our first fix on the final is going to be, oops, there we go. Now we can actually zoom in on these approach charts. A Soji. Let's see. Soji 2200. Cool. Uh, Toga 1600. That's our glide slope intercept. Q beans. And then, yeah, should take us right down to the runway. So all those constraints look good to go. Where is my handy dandy checklist? I don't miss anything. Let's go in it, ref. We're going to do flaps 40 landing. Set that. Speed 120. Uh, let's set our ILS frequency 110 niner. So 110 niner. Both sides. Boom. Let's come back up here. We're going to need a uh, final course is 135 punch our course in here both sides one three five first officer side oh one three five what else do we need we need minimums so ILS so 308 So let's get that, whoops, not that. We need the barrow, 308. 308, groovy. Sweet. 308 is our minimums. Let's do our runway fix. We'll go fix button. We're doing a runway. Romeo and then we'll do a 10 miles out approach ring and five miles so let's double check let's go plan mode zoom in a little bit and go legs and step into the approach yep they're in there 10 miles out five miles out so we know where to configure let's go back to map Boom. And 40 on the range. Cool. Alright, what else we got? Bottom altitude, I believe. Yes. Which was 1600. Toga. Yep, so let's go ahead and throw 1600 in there. Seattle Center, I feel like, is never online. So we'll probably just do our own approach, 1,600 feet. So VNAV will take us all the way down to, from cruise down to the glide slope intercept and down to the runway. Cool. Oh. So we'll enjoy some more of these mountains while we can. Looks like a frozen lake river underneath us. Where are we at? Love the VRFR charts. That is sweet. What is this? What river or lake are you? Is it not marked? Columbia River? Maybe? Moving maps on. Oh, follow mode. Zoom out. Oh, is that this?
What does this do? So we don't have the little toggle button anymore. You have to go back to follow mode here. Kind of like the little toggle mode on the side underneath the, like it was before. Maybe I can change that back. I don't know. Navigraph just got a fresh new update, so. I am back to square one with Navgraph learning curve. Yeah, the little toggle button doesn't work. This probably doesn't work still. Nope. Whatevs. All good. All right, let's stick here. Bum, bum, bum. Actually, oh, you can see where it's snowed and not snowed. Let's go outside. A couple more aerial views in here. And there's all the snow. <laughs> Gotta love these aerial views. Bum, 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 bum. Looks like Vancouver Tower is on, but that's about the closest ATC to us. So that shouldn't be a factor. Yeah, it looks like we're the only arrival end up going fields. Seattle's got five arrivals right next to us, but looks like we're the closest. I got all the snow on this side, on the right side, and half of no snow on the other side. Nice. Thirteen miles to our top of descent. Start our descent into Seattle, Boeing Field. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to uh, Sim Update 11's uh, updated airport list. I will definitely be combing through that tomorrow and probably Saturday, seeing what new new airports we just got. Assuming they're probably going to be all over globally. So I'll probably start looking around the United States first, then Canada, and then make probably start looking over in Europe or wherever the, uh, the list takes me. Let's 
so much so much new good additions and we're getting getting spoiled here Microsoft Light Sim yeah, I love it I totally forgot the A310 has a yoke I was totally thinking it had the side stick It'll be feel so weird flying a A310 or an Airbus for that with a with a yoke. Old school for sure. Udell, well, how's it going? Thanks for wrapping the stream and chat. Happy Friday Eve. Waiting for the update. Oh yeah. We all are, my friend, patiently, impatiently waiting. It is upon us, though. Hopefully we don't wake up tomorrow and Microsoft's like, oh, we got a delay. Fingers crossed. Everything gets released on time and we can all have the weekend to have at all the new updates. Super exciting stuff, though. Patiently, patiently waiting. I totally forgot it was coming out this month, too. Because I remember it was like summertime when they said we were getting the 40th anniversary edition and update. The I and I builds A310. Seems like a long time ago that we got the first first initial news on it. So exciting, exciting stuff. All right, so engines are spooled down. Let's jump back up front. We are descending 300 knots. Passing through 30,000 feet. Bum, 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 bum. Does the HUD work? Cool. Turn the anti-ice off, right? Yes. Cool. Coming up on the arrival, the Glacier 1. Making our way. And since there's no ATC on. We are going to. I uh, so don't think. Let's double check. Yeah, no Seattle approach or anything like that. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of. Probably get rid of Heather too, because Heather's going to take us past the first approach fix. So we kind of just need to go Woody to Asoji. Our first uh, fix here. So why don't we do that? Let's go Asoji. Replace it. Put it up to Heather. So we got 70 miles till the runway. So hopefully that didn't mess us up too much. Uh, I'm going to grab our altimeter on my laptop. Winds are still calm, it looks like. Temperature's 8, 30, 35. 
on the altimeter setting. So let's get that pulled in here. 30, 30, 35, there we go. Altimeter is good. Let's double check our route. Let's go plan. Step our way through Woody straight to the approach. Yeah, figure that would just be easier. Cool. Uh, let's go back to the map and let's set our altimeter. Took us way up. Cool. Oh, look at those mountains. Nice. Some mountain views in here. While we still can. Yeah, big day. Big day tomorrow. Sim update 11. Tons of new stuff. Planes. Airports. Bugs, improvements, all that good stuff. So, should be a fun, fun weekend. And, uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator. Highly anticipated update. Oh, show. I feel like we're back in Canada with these mountains. Fifty miles to the runway. Let's jump back up front, make sure we're on track here. Got to be at 11,000 feet, 250 knots. Got eight miles to Jackson. Why does the camera have to be so fast? Yep, 250 on the speed, 11,000 is our constraint, Jackson. Yeah, so it won't be won't be dark by the time we get there, which is good. <clears throat> All in all, we got a pretty good variety of planes. And so, yeah, absolutely, absolutely, Charles. And we're really kind of just getting started. There's going to be so many more airplanes, airports. Oh, we need speed brakes. Forgot to put those out. Need to be at 250. Oh yeah, lots more, uh, a lot more birds to come. I forget it was like the last update, World Update 11 or the one before that. They said there was like hundreds of planes in development that were approved so yeah 
lots of cool stuff coming. That is for sure. Let's put, uh, I'm going to be at 2200 at a Soji just to be safe. Make sure we're going to get there. Twenty-three miles to a Soji. Why does it seem like we're not really descending fast enough? Yeah, I can tell because this is way low. We got twenty-two miles. at 10,000 feet, so let's go. Landing lights, taxi lights on. Start switches, continuous. We'll set our auto brake to one, since we got 10,000 foot runway. And speed brakes are already armed. Lights are on, start switches, continuous. So, since we are too high, let's see what the new and maybe improved VS will be for us. Why are we speeding up? We should be at 250 airplane. Why are we going 270? I mean, we are going 3,000 feet a minute, which is probably a little aggressive. Yeah, let's see if we can go back to VNAV. Pull 250, reset the speed brakes, good to go. Alright, let's see. We are on the Glazer, right? And Seattle traffic number 5, Joe to Alpha. 25 miles to the east, inbound, Glazer 1 arrival. Uh, Boeing Field arrival. 1 4, right. Seattle traffic. Go ahead and pause the jams so I can pay attention here. Bum, 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 ba, ba, bum, bum, bum. So we'll start configuring at about 15 miles out, so six miles. Let's see the boat. Beautiful Seattle area. I feel like I gotta be careful switching camera angles because we all know what that likes to do. Let's set our runway heading of course, which is one three five. Why are we going two seventy still? Slow your roll, airplane. There's downtown Seattle right here. All the little teepee huts. Or the teepees. Cool. Alright, we are 15 miles out. Let's go flaps one. Probably a little fast to be going flaps one, but all good. Bum, 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 bum. Alright, I totally forgot to load up our replay flight recorder software so we can run some replays.
We'll start it a little early so we can see our left turn into Seattle. If I don't forget. Yeah, it's going to be a longer replay. Seattle traffic, Boeing field traffic, uh, number five to get off uh, left base, only one four right, Boeing field traffic. Uh, it's still the speed brakes and reset them. Oh yeah, this is gonna be a nice, nice approach, brownies. Let's go ahead and speaking of that, I'll hit now so we can see all of the downtown Seattle when we run the replay. That would be very cool. Let's go flaps five and zoom our range in here. There's the space needle. It's kind of small but I would go outside but Seattle tends to be a little frame heavy and a little choppy and I'd hate to get a crash on final here fingers crossed knock on wood let's not do that uh, eight miles out let's go gear down flaps 15 Gonna turn left, left base right now. There she goes. Maybe just thinking about it. There we go. Nice. Seeing what L nav and B nav can do. Put it to the test. Kind of see the space needle right here. Yeah, Seattle airports off to the, I guess, south that would be. And this is actually going to get us a lot closer to downtown, so this will be a nice, really nice replay. Can we arm approach early? Let's arm it, arm the approach. Let's go flaps. 25. Looks like we're a little high. There we go. Glide slope is engaged. Speed, we need to be 125. Let's go flaps full. And Boeing Field traffic number five to it off a four mile final, one four right Boeing Field. It does seem like I thought they did an update to the auto throttle, but it does seem like it's struggling a little bit. Century Leak Arena or Stadium. It's off to our left. <coughs> Looking good. Let's go, our bird. And let's bring the throttles to match in one. Let's go, my throttles. And let's get some. Let's get some butter. Some Seattle butter. A little low. Watch our speed. Where's our wind? It's not showing us on the ND. But they were supposed to be calm winds. Traffic. Traffic. Oh, stutters. Don't fail me now. That's what I was afraid of. Seattle is kind of frame heavy. Nose trim down. 
Wait, were we going to park off to the left again? I think so, yes. A little fast, a little high. There we go. No, we're going to, yeah, we're going to park on the left. Continue. Plenty of runway. Nice. All the butter. Versus are out. Nose is down. Let's go manual brakes. Fifty knots. Stow them. And we can turn off here to the left to the clock. Hour nineteen minutes. We beat our time by like at 13 minutes. Nice. Sweet. Boeing Field, Seattle. Welcome, y'all. Awesome. And Boeing Field traffic number 5 to Alpha. Clear of a wave on the right. Boeing Field. Alright, let's see. Let's go flaps up, speed brakes. Where can we park? Let's go. Landing lights, strobes off. Doesn't look like there's anybody to park us. Looks like some kind of FBO up in front of us. Why don't we park up there? Let's follow throttle button. Auto brakes off. So we'll park. We'll leave the bird all running per usual and we'll run some replays. Check out the beautiful Seattle approach as always. Then we'll come back, button up the bird, and we'll unload her, sign off. All that good stuff. Let's see if anybody's down here to park us. Yeah, it looks like there's like a little FBO down here. Hey, Silverio. Corrado, what is going on? Good to see ya. Thanks for hopping in the stream and chat. Just in time for landing and some replays. This is going to be a Nice, nice replay. The Seattle Boeing field approach. Anybody? Any ground crew up here? Wants to park us? Doesn't look like it, but. Park right here by these GA birds. Yeah, we'll go right here. Let's go taxi lights off. And we'll just kind of park right here. Cool. All right. Set our parking brake. That is set. Go ahead and stop the recording. What else do we need to do? Finish our flight. Since we'll get pro, negative 206 on the landing. I will take that. Mark this bad boy as a streamy stream. Boom. Yellowstone to Boeing Field. Nice landing, I will take it. 206 feet per minute, and we'll close Simpson Kit Pro. We can also close Navigraph. 
Uh, let's see. Let's get some iTunes action back in here. Oh, we need to disconnect from that sim as well so we don't mess anybody up in the area. Uh, so yeah, let's do it. Let's run some replays and then we'll come back. We'll leave the bird running. All that good stuff. We'll come back and unload. Shut her down. And we'll be on our way. Uh, let's see. So let's get my controller ready. Let's probably pick this side. So this is going to be a good side to come in on. Oh, that's cool. It's like an open hangar over there. Uh, let's go. Replay. Go. Nice. Set the flaps to full for replay as well. Get the progress bar out of the way. Play some jams. It's a nice football. Oh, that's the University of Washington's football field right there. Saw the big W. I did not know it was that close to Seattle. Actually, let's go outside first. Why not? Yeah, this is going to be a really sweet uh, approach to check out outside. Got the water, the mountains, all of the above. Downtown Seattle. Actually, I think we're super far. Are we? No. No, there's our left turn. Okay. Yeah, because downtown is right here. Somewhere. Right here. There it is. Okay, I'm way off. Sorry about that, guys. I'm way off. Where's our bird? There she is. And that's the space needle behind us. And all of the downtown buildings. So pretty sweet approach, if I do say so. There's Bowling Field, and then Seattle's off to our top of the screen. The airports are so close to each other. Oh, and I got the speed too high. A lot of toast with that butter. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely, Charles. Yeah, Seattle's an all-time favorite. The best of both worlds out here. The water, the mountains, the scenery. Pretty awesome. There's the Space Needle. I think that's what they call it. Downtown. That is pretty neat. Is that the Seahawks uh, football stadium? Right here? I believe so. Whoa, come on camera. Oh, she's getting stuttery on us. I better just leave the camera in one spot. Kinda wanted to be on the other side. Speed the camera up a little bit.
plowing fields. That's the Boeing buildings. Nice. All oh, the butter. Yeah, I should have parked in that open hangar right there. There's the tower. Yeah, it doesn't get better. It's good old Seattle. There's downtown back there. Awesome sauce. All right, now let's do the wing view here. Let's go pause and reverse. Oh yeah, look at that. This will be a this will be a really good uh, downtown view here. There's a Space Needle right here. And then all the downtown buildings. Awesome. Yeah, it did seem like the auto throttle was up and down. I know they just did an update on auto throttle, so I just working through the bugs. Yeah, it's such an awesome approach. There's the cargo freight boats. Was that Century Link Field or Stadium? Seattle Seahawks. Nice. Boom, 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 boom. Look at all those cargo bins. Reminds me of Midway with all the train tracks. That's his recycling center. Man, it's stutters. Killing me, Smalls. Killing me, Seattle. Bum, 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 bum. So cool. This all looks like this is like a hill going up. Can't get enough of Seattle. All B E A beautiful. There's some GA birds. All the butter. Yes, indeedy. Uh, what's the other one? We could do. Let's do the. Um, let's do the gear view. go from like right here where we can see the uh, Space Needle. Actually you kind of can't see downtown. 
off to our left. side here. Sun slowly setting. Bum, bum, bum. Look at all that detail. All those cargo ships. All the bins. So many. It's crazy. Ray say. Let's go down a little bit. Hey, you can barely see the Seattle airport over here. Gets extra stuttery right here, probably. Just trying to load all the uh, ground details and clutter. So we'll run one more after this, do the flyover, end on a high note. <laughs> then Sunday we'll be back. We'll be taking off out of here, uh, Seattle slash Boeing Field, heading down the Pacific West Coast down to San Jose, California. So it should be another awesome approach on Sunday for the Toga Party that sim event. Nice. So I hope to have you guys join us on Sunday, 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. This is when we'll be going live. Bum, 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 bum. And you guys are definitely more than welcome to join us and fly on Batsim for the Batsim event on Sunday. It's actually supposed to be from 5 to 9 p.m. Pacific, but I think we'll probably get to San Jose probably around 5.30 the beginning of it. So that's the plan. Whether you guys want to hang out and fly with us, just watch us on stream or fly in the event. Either way works for us. Uh, cool. Let's go camera. I need you to pop out. Uh, let's go drone cam. Let's reset you to this and this. Oops. We'll set our flyover camera. It's not too fast. Is that Mount Rainier? Is that how I say it? Let's see if I can get this to go. Whoa! Super fast. All right. Pause. Pause. There we go. Reverse. We'll start it from about here. Zoom. Slow our camera down a bit. Ah, uh, if we can get the camera to cooperate. Let's get the speed brakes down. Nice. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, wind was really calm, so that probably helped out the butter. Look at the mountain in the back, that's sweet. That is so cool. I don't know if you guys can see that. Big giant mountain back there. That is pretty sweet. Love the scene here in, uh-oh. Overstress the aircraft and cause critical <laughs> damage. I thought I had that off. Come on, man. Ay, caramba. Main menu it is. Alrighty, y'all. Well, actually, I'm going to do that right now before we sign off. <laughs> Change that setting. Uh, hopefully it didn't kick us off this live stream. No. Options. Uh, what would it be under assistance? Uh, t -t -t failure and damage. Icing effect. Aircrafts. Mm, yeah, we want to disable. Apply and save. Don't want that to happen again. All right. Yeah, I don't know what's up with the background, too. It looks like it's having a bug. Well, we are going to sign off from here. Unfortunately, didn't get to shut down the bird and do our usual unloading and all that good stuff. But it happens. Settings get reset every time there's an update. So I'm sure I'll be updating my settings tomorrow uh, when we get sim update 11 so super exciting stuff fortunately the stream didn't end the way we wanted but it is what it is roll with the punches so that's going to wrap up today's stream guys Hope you guys enjoyed this one uh, as much as i did beautiful seattle where we had some uh, really cool snowy departure out of bozeman yellowstone international and nice scenic approach into seattle blowing field this was a fun one definitely recommend that uh, route uh, if you guys are flying this weekend uh, thanks everybody for flying with us jumping in join saying hello um, if you're watching at a later date thank you thank you for jumping in watching the replay uh, and stopping by always appreciate you guys oh yeah and you guys probably hear double music so let's mute the sounds real quick so it's not so much there we go so yes we'll be back uh sunday this sunday 3 p.m pacific standard time i uh, hope to see you guys there we'll be flying like i said seattle Boeing field down to san jose international for the sunday bat sim event uh so if you guys want to fly along with us please do uh so that's the plan uh, if you guys enjoyed today's stream and want to show your support to the channel please hit the like and subscribe buttons would mean the world to me and it was a huge help to the channel so always always appreciate your guys' support always uh, and I do live stream weekly and exclusively here on Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 on Tuesdays Thursdays and Sundays uh, so if you hit the notification bell you guys will not miss any new uploads or live streams you'll get all the notifications um, I've also listed some of my favorite playlists of uh, our past streams uh, if you guys want to check them out, they are in the video description below. So some of our past streams, routes, airplanes that we've flown in the sim, you can check those out in the video description. Again, thank you all for watching, jumping in with us, Brownies, Charles, Silver Ale, uh, Udili, Lobby Havoc. Who else just jumped in today? The crew. I think that was it. So thank each and every one of you guys for hopping in with us. Hope to see you guys on Sunday. Hope everybody has an awesome start to your weekend and a happy early Friday and happy early Sim Update 11. It's going to be a fun weekend. I'm sure there's going to be tons of streams. 
Uh, so look forward to checking out everybody's streams and sim update 11 videos. So yeah, uh, we will see you guys back here on Sunday, 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. We'll be back at Boeing Field, firing up the BBJ, heading down to California. So that will conclude today's stream. Everyone have a great rest of your evening. We'll see you back here Sunday. Later, guys. Peace.